Since the takeover of Afghanistan by the Taliban two years ago, nothing has remained the same. From the societal norms to the security aspect, everything has undergone sea changes. Recently, the risks associated with flying over Afghanistan have been brought to the forefront. The United States has recently taken steps to ease regulations, potentially permitting commercial airlines to utilize shorter flight routes over Afghanistan, which could result in reduced travel time and fuel consumption for east-west travel. The challenge of managing the risks of flying over a region with uncontrolled airspace where a significant number of shoulder-launched anti-aircraft weapons remain cannot be overlooked. Moreover, the potential complications arising from emergency landings in such a region require careful consideration. The aviation industry, represented by the OPS Group, has expressed a clear stance on this matter. No one, no one wants to fly over Afghanistan. The absence of air traffic control services throughout Afghanistan, coupled with the presence of numerous surface-to-air weaponry that could pose threats to aircraft, creates a highly unfavorable environment for safe flight operations. Nevertheless, the resumption of overflights could have substantial implications for airlines. Despite being landlocked, Afghanistan's strategic location along the most direct routes between India and Europe and America makes it a crucial passageway for international travel. However, following the Taliban's seizure of uh, Kabul in August 2021, commercial aviation was severely impacted as ground controllers could no longer manage the airspace. Concerns about the safety of flights led to international authorities redirecting commercial airlines away from Afghanistan airspace. In response to these challenges, airlines have altered their flight paths to circumvent Afghanistan, resulting in increased flight times and fuel consumption. The U.S. Federal Aviation Administration's decision in July to potentially allow flights above 32,000 feet to resume signifies a significant shift in this situation. For now, apart from Afghan and Iranian carriers, most airlines appear hesitant to take the risk of flying over Afghanistan. The country's history of anti-aircraft missile proliferation dating back to the Soviet-Afghan conflict in the 1980s contributes to this apprehension. While the U.S. aviation body asserts that altitudes above 32,000 feet may be safe from such weaponry, concerns persist among industry experts. While the idea of flying over Afghanistan could offer benefits in terms of efficiency and reduced costs, the prevailing uncertainties and safety concerns associated with the region make it a complex proposition. As geopolitical dynamics evolve, the decision to resume overflights remains a delicate balance between potential gains and significant risks. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.